In this problem, we have a tank of water at the top of a hill, and we're looking to find the gauge pressure at the house from that tank of water. Now, the important thing to recall for this problem is that gauge pressure is dependent on vertical depth. Angle, like horizontal components, are not relevant when considering the magnitude of the pressure. The formula for gauge pressure, remember, is equal to the density of the fluid multiplied by the gravitational acceleration multiplied by the depth into the fluid that we're looking at. Really, the trickiest part of this problem is working out what this h value is because of the fact that the hill's at an angle. So we're going to need to do a little bit of trigonometry to figure out what that vertical depth actually is. Well, we can see that there is a vertical depth of 6 meters coming from the tank itself. So that h depth is going to be 6 meters plus whatever the vertical height of the hill is. And so, doing some basic trigonometry here, we can see that the sine of the hill's angle is... Remember, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite length, which is the length that we are trying to discover, divided by the hypotenuse of 75 meters. So that means that the total height from the top of the tank to the bottom of the hill, where the house is, is 6 meters plus 75 times the sine of 61 degrees. So let's apply that to the formula for the gauge pressure. So the gauge pressure is equal to the density of the fluid, which is the density of water, or 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, multiplied by the gravitational acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared, then multiplied by the whole formula we just found for the depth. So 6 meters plus 75 meters times the sine of 61 degrees. If we put all of that into a calculator, then we find a gauge pressure of about 7 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per meter squared. And so that is the answer to part A. The second part of the problem asks what would happen if a vertical pipe out, like that broke in front of the house were to start leaking, how high could the water shoot upwards? This is kind of a conceptual thing. The important thing to understand for this part of the problem is that since the water, even at the bottom of the hill, has the force from the water that came all the way up from the tank, then that means that if a pipe broke, it could shoot out feasibly. It could shoot out as far high up as the tank itself. Granted, realistically, that might not happen because of friction, but ignoring friction, we can expect that the water would be able to shoot right up to the very top of where the tank is. So in other words, the answer to part B is just the same value that we established for H. 6 plus 75 times the sine of 61 degrees. So let's just put this into a calculator, and then we find a height of 72 meters. So 72 meters is the answer to this problem. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. And if you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.